Hi everyone, uh, this is the uh, last update I can do. Uh, today I was moving and um, I didn't uh, undo my lab. I'm just keeping this for last uh, thing to do so this experiment can continue running. It's now 9.34 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time and um, the bulb is still uh, running so the load has been now running for over 24 hours because the experiment was started at 9 p.m. and the voltage that has been maintained uh, is now at the lowest point at 12.94 so the three batteries in parallel here underneath are uh, have been maintained uh, between um, 12.99 yesterday and now it's at about fluctuating between 12.9493 and the circuit uh, like I said is operated now for uh, the total of the 24 hours or 24 and a half hours actually to be more precise and this was the uh, voltage that I had taken off each battery uh, battery F is this one here and it was at 13.26. I had freshly charged the batteries, so they were actually at a uh, little higher voltage. Usually they would stabilize themselves after uh, a couple hours, or uh, it actually takes a day. Uh, and this battery here was at, uh, that one had pretty well, that one was very stable. 13.12 uh, is about normal for these batteries. And this one was kind of high. That was the most freshly charged one, 13.31. Uh, so we had a total of about uh, 39.69, maybe maybe a little bit higher before I started. I think that's the voltage that once I just had started the circuit, maybe about uh, half an hour after I think I'd taken that uh, reading there. So uh, right now, the uh, voltage, the total voltage is at uh, 39.2243 and um, that's pretty good uh, considering we started at 39.69 so from 39.69 to 39.22 is not much of a drop uh, sorry about that and uh, to maintain this uh, load here uh, under and that's why we've actually dropped from 12 point to about 12.94 there um, because we've slightly dropped uh, here we're at uh, 39.22 so I haven't retuned you know I just left everything exactly the same so these are uh, interesting results I would say um, what I can do now is we can look at the voltage of each uh, battery here so let's look at the uh, G battery right now we're looking at just that one and G is at okay that's pretty well the normal voltage of uh, those those batteries like I said once they stabilize so that one uh, you know has let's say we can call it drop but it would have dropped overnight to that voltage anyways uh, they don't stay as high as as uh, so it wasn't really a fair test to say it was at 13.31 because it was you know newly charged so it would have dropped uh, that overnight, anyways. But anyways, let's 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 still say that's that's fine. So we're at 13.9 there from our 13.31, uh, and let's have a look at this one here. All right, so our connections are there. We're looking at E. E was at 13.12. And there you go, it's at 13.3. Uh, so at 13.12, around that range is normal, and uh, after it, you know, had settled from a charge. So as you see, it hasn't dropped very much, uh, that battery there. Oops, sorry. So the next one is the first battery right here. Again, that one was somewhat of a fresh charge and it was at 13.26 all right f and we're at uh, 13.8 which is again a pretty much the uh, normal uh, voltage 
that these batteries stabilize themselves at. So we've had this working for 24 hours and these batteries are hardly really showing any drop. Uh, it's kept these batteries in parallel, uh, full, you know, charged, that they haven't really lost uh, much energy. Um, again, that drop is only because, well, the front end has dropped. And the front end has dropped because, again, I was using two freshly charged batteries, F and G, uh, and it dropped overnight. So, you know, maybe I'd have to really do a fair test to have those batteries, uh, you know, not freshly charged that much, to have them, you know, sitting for a couple of days so they stabilize. Anyways, I don't care. Uh, it's showing uh, some good results, and I think that's uh, what everybody is, is hopeful, and uh, so am I. So I think this is uh, kind of cool, you know, that you've obviously saw what this uh, bulb here would do, you know, to uh, one of these batteries. It just eats it up, you know, in voltage. So, um, hey, you know, what I can do right now is I can stop the circuit and uh, I'll do that right now. All right, so that's disconnected there. We, uh, we're not feeding into the circuit here. And I had added that yesterday for a little protection. It's a 250 milliamp uh, fuse there on my negative side uh, to the coil air from the uh, MOSFET and uh, so right now if we look there we go you know our voltage is dropping it's definitely not at 12.94 at this time now and uh, the bulb is still connected and obviously the voltage is not dropping here because well these batteries are well, continuously had been charged to not really drop, and there are three compared to one. But what I'll do here is, you know, maybe some people are like, will say, oh, this is a weak battery here, you know. So what I'll do is I'll keep the meter on there. We see that that battery is at 12.09, and I'll do the same thing as what I did yesterday. I'll put the bulb uh, just on that one right there, and uh, let's go for it. So now I've unconnected this load. And let's put our load there. And let's get ready to connect it. So nothing's connected. Our batteries are already recovering because there's no load. So as you saw, it's now going back up to 12.94. Now that battery that I'll put the load on is at 13.9. And let me start the load and quickly look at this. And there we go, our voltage, our bulb is lit, and our voltage is dropping. Now, it's not dropping as fast as it was uh, yesterday, and that's because this battery that I had put it on was at 13.31, which is not the true stabilized voltage. That was its true, um, uh, just freshly charged voltage. So that's why it actually dropped. So all the batteries now are really at a stable voltage. But as you see, it is dropping still pretty quickly. We were at 13.09 and we're now at 13.06. And I'll let it, you continuously uh, see this here. We still have a, maybe about a minute at the most. So it's working itself down uh, still pretty fast. So we're at 13.5. And, um, you know, I think, I think this is definitely, uh, you know, working itself down faster. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting to see all this here. So anyways, we're at the uh, 10 minute mark. That's about all I can do. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'm away on holidays, uh, not holidays, but on a trip out of the country. So that's all I can do.